Right, today we are going to look at lesson 16.1. We're moving on to our, our statistics chapter slash unit as we're getting down to our last lessons here of the year. Uh, our essential question today is how can you use measures of center to describe a data set? So we're going to review some concepts that you've learned in the past, especially in fifth grade, uh, and then we're going to apply it to our strategies. All right? So a measure of center is statistics that have to do with the center of a range set. And you'll use that to uh, calculate certain things. All right, so let's look at our first example. We have finding the mean. All right, so for a mean, we have uh, the synonym for average. All right, so in order to calculate the average, it's always the sum of the atoms divided by the total number of atoms, the numbers that you added together. All right, in this case, we have like a little survey questions. We have how many, what is the average number of siblings that these five students have? So you'll see that Amy has two, Ben three, Cal one, Don one, Eva three. So you have to find the sum first, the total. So you add all those numbers together. So once you do that, two plus three, five, six, seven, ten. And now you have to divide by the number of atoms, the number of people that were asked the survey question. All right, and that was five. And then once you do that, you get a mean or an average of two. And that should make sense if you go back and look at your data because it's like a comparison now. You see how that number is kind of in the center of all of these. It matches Amy exactly. Uh, ben is one more, but then Cal is one less, so that's in between. And then the same thing here. Don is one less than our average, and Eva is one more. So the average of those two would be uh, two. The average of those two would be two, and then Amy is right on the average. And so we have our twos. That is the center of our data set. All right, so that's how you do uh, mean, finding average. And the other concept is finding the median. All right, so median has kind of the spelling inside. Uh, median looks like middle, okay? So you're gonna find the middle of an ordered data set. So you gotta be careful because some of you right now, if I ask you guys to find the median, you would just go right to the middle, find the halfway point, and then you might say that it's four here, Chris. But that's not how it works. You have to, for a median, put them in order from least to greatest. All right, so again, I'm using Edpuzzle here. Why don't you type in what the first number would be, also known as the minimum. All right, so here we go. I'm going to use my chart. So here's three, I get rid of it. Next, I have four, then I have five. I have two fives. And now I don't have any sixes. Oh, I do have one six. Now I have one, two, sevens. I have one, eight. And then I have one, two, three, tens. All right, so now I'm going to find the number in the middle. So I'm going to count how many I have first. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so the one in the middle now is going to be five on both sides, so three, four, five, and then I'm going to go five on the other side, and it's right here. That's the number that's in the middle, so seven is the median, all right? So the way, another way to look at it is you take the number of total numbers you have divided by two, all right? And then what you would have then is that remainder, right? So that tells you now it's, the, it's going to be five on either side. It's halfway in between. Um, you know, five and six there. And so that is uh, what you're going to have. All right. So let's look at our next example here. We have comparing the mean and the median. All right. So we have monthly earnings of several teenagers are 200, 320, 275, 250, 750, 350, and 310. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to add those all together and then divide by. Once you type in the number, you're going to divide by for A to find the mean. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, for this one, let's use the calculator to save time. All right, so here we go. I'm going to add them up. Okay, now I'm going to divide by 7, and I get 
350. Okay, 0.7. All right, let's just round it to the nearest pole for right here, okay? So the mean, and now we need to find the median. All right, so are these already in order? To find the median, take a look, 750 is in the middle, so they're not in order. So now I need to put them in order from smallest to least, uh, smallest to greatest, sorry. So I'm going to start with 200. All right, what comes next? I have 250. I'm going to start writing smaller ways. I'm going to run out of room there. I have 275. Then I have 310, and then 320, and 350, and then 750, which would be my maximum. Okay, so I got them to fit right there. So let's take a look. How many data sets do I have again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I divide by two, three and a half, right? So I'm going to go over three. It's going to be the one in the middle because there's going to be three on both sides. So my median now is going to be 310. All right. So now let's look at the question. All right. They differ by about how much? You subtract the 240, right? And why is that? Because you have this number here, this 750, that really kind of pushes up um, the total there. Uh, to make that average bigger all right so which measure of center better describes the typical monthly uh, savings or excuse me earnings of this group of teenager the mean or the median so now you got to compare which of those two numbers is better representative all right so take a look all of them right now i would say since the 750 is kind of an outlier it's not really close to the rest okay that one kind of you know shifts the average up to 350 and then you'll see that some of these other ones here are closer to you know, 310. So I would say 310 is the better number that represents because if the average is 350, there's only two of them that meet that number. And you have one, two, three, four, five that are less. So in this case, the median is actually a better uh, measure of center than the mean, the average to uh, compare your data. All right, next example. All right, so Luca's final exam scores for this semester are 70, 72, 99, 72, and 69. Find the mean and median. All right, so here we go. Let's do that. And then which is the best, better descriptor of, of the typical exam? All right, so that's the, you know, I would say that's the, the challenging part of today is to make sure that you understand that piece. And we'll look at this example. All right, so we'll, I'm going to put them in order. They're not in order right now. So let me do that right away. So median, the, uh, the minimum is seven. 70, all right, 72, uh, two 72s, and then we have, oh, I forgot 69 at the beginning, sorry, and then I have 99, all right, so let's take a look, I have one, two, three, four, five, so the middle one is going to be here, 72, that's the median, all right, now I need to find the mean, I need to add all five of those numbers together, I'll save that in order to save time, I'm going to use my trusty calculator here. 70 plus 72 plus 99 plus 72 plus 69 divided by 5. Okay, so that is 76.4. So now which is a better descriptor of his typical scores? All right, so let's take a look. My two numbers are, I'm going to make that about 76. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so which is a better score? So a 72, uh, take a look. I have, you know, two that are in the middle there. Uh, 76 for the mean, that one is more representative because of the 99 that would shift that up. But take a look, uh, most of the scores here. So we have four scores that are close to 72 and they're a lot closer to 72 than they are to 76. So the 99 shifts that up. So that's kind of like, the strategy here, if you have one number on either end that's really shifting it to that side, pulling it that way, it could have been the same if it would have been a super low score, right? I would say the median is a better way to show the center of his scores. All right, so 99 is shifting all those numbers up to 76. And even though his average is a 76, he scored less than that, you know, four different times. So it shows that he usually scores around the median. All right, so that's why the median would be a better score descriptor there. All right, so let's do one more, and I'll get the Ed puzzle going here for you guys to type in a response so I know that you're still with me. 
All right. Uh, this one's just finding an average. Uh, don't need to do that. One's pretty simple. Let's do one more where we have to compare the two. All right. Oh, well, that's finding median only. Uh, here we go. Let's do this one. Find the mean and the median of this. All right. So let's find the mean. And let's find the median. All right. So why don't you guys tell me, Ed Puzzle, how many uh, values are you going to divide by for the mean? All right. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so for my median, I'm going to put them in order now. I have three, four, five, six, seven. Got two sixes. Three, four, five, two sixes, seven, nine, and then 28. So you see that 28 again? You know what that's going to do if you've been paying attention to the other uh, parts of this lesson. All right, so find the middle number now. I have eight of them now, so this one's going to be a little bit different. So when you ever you have um, an even number, what you need to do is you have to take your number again. All right, so that's going to be four. So you're going to go over four. So it's four on both sides. So you would take the average of those two numbers, and it just happens to be that both of them are the same. So you would you add the two together and divide by two. All right, so the median is going to be six. And now let's find your uh, your mean. All right, hope I can do this in my head. It's a little bit quicker, quicker than typing all those numbers into a calculator. All right, so here we go. We have 7, 12, 18, 24, 31, 40, 68. All right, so 68 divided by my eight numbers now. All right, so let's do that. So that's going to be 8 times 8 is 64. All right, so remainder 4, so 4 eighths. That would be one half, all right, 8.5, all right. So my mean is eight and a half. So let's take a look, all right, which is the better descriptor of the center of the data set. All right, so let's take a look. Median again is six, and then our mean is eight and a half, all right. So look where eight and a half would be, right? That's here, and there's only two numbers um, that are more than that out of my eight, all right. And again, it's because of this 28. That's called an outlier. All right, so type in again which one of the two is the better uh, descriptor of the measures of center. And that would be your median, right, because you have six and you have four numbers right around that. That's already half of your numbers in your set, and four is close and 28 is, is not. All right, so that is how you apply that. For your lesson today, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, complete these problems. It's going to look a little bit differently. I'll put it on your Jamboard if you want to show your work or you do it as a worksheet. You, know, you can get these answers on the internet. So I'm going to change up some of these numbers so you have to be authentic when you do it. All right. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, again, you're completing mean, uh, find the average, and then median, find the middle number, and then describe which one is the better way to find the measure of center. Any questions, let me know.